Tadra Krishna in Parki Amur is highest process to please Krishna. Srimad Bhagavati is Praman Pati Sutan Vaya Bratri Bhagavan Bhagavan Pati Sangati Antachuta. They left all their husbands and everything and they went to Krishna. And Krishna was bounded, bounded, bound to keep them, accept them, and to dance with them. Where Lakshmi was rejected, Jagipatni was rejected, but he couldn't reject go. They defeated Krishna, and Krishna had to accept. So this is the process of, oh, highest process to please and to serve Krishna. And Srimad Bhagavati is Praman, though that I am telling you. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu follow. So you should follow this. And the essence of all that I am going to tell, Tannama Rupa Charitadi Sukritananu Smityakar Ni Yodja Tishthan Prajetada Anuragi Jana Anuragi Kalam Nayed Kilam Atyu Padeshasa All this is final. This is the essence of all the teachings that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave, Srimad Bhagavad gave, Valmiki Ramayana, Tulsi Ramayana, all the Vedas and Shastra has given. Eh? All this is the essence of all. Written by whom? Most beloved of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Rupa Goswami. Tan naam Rupa Chaitanya. Shukrat Tananu Krami Narasana Manasi Nidhya. Tan naam. Tan naam means Tan Krishna. What name? Shri Krishna Gopal Hare Mukum Govinda He Nanda Kisho Krishna Hashi Jasoda Tanaya Prasida Jeevanara Oh, that Radhikesha, Supreme Nama of Lord. Always, by where? By turn, or doing kirtan, Govinda Dhamo, Govinda Dhamo, Radhe Radhe Radhe.
you are my most beloved da daughters and sons. <coughs> have some responsibility for me because I have accepted you. So I am telling you again and again. Krishna will not come and come tell all these things. He is Atma Ram. He is Atma Ram. Mahaprabhu will not come and tell like this. But I am telling you because also oh, uh, deep relation with you all. Go Praman. Oh. Krishna Das, any Krishna? Krishna Nam to Bhajile Manua. Radha Ramana Hari Govind Jai Jai Radha As I was saying, we were all here by the grace of Prabhupada because he, he didn't come by himself with essentially seven dollars in his apartment, not knowing anybody, he had one address, just wanting to please his Guru Maharaj. Others had tried to take this Krishna consciousness, even though it was prophesied to the West, the three of the strongest leaders in 1940s came to England to try and open this and bring the holy name and they weren't able to do anything. So Prabhupada's Guru Maharaj Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati asked him to bring Krishna consciousness to the West and he took this to heart. And as I say, not knowing anybody, and not in the greatest of health, he embarked upon this idea. And because he did this, look at what has happened. These are people from all around the world, internationally, on the same page, doing the same things. Irish, Israeli, Scottish, Germans, Americans. Spirit souls, old, young, in the future, the children are so nice. Just because Prabhupada believed in his guru, and so he did this. So this is uh, now in San Francisco, and after some time in New York, and then he came to San Francisco, there was, oh, maybe 10 or 12 devotees at this time. Uh, he brought the Srimad Bhagavatams there. 
But there wasn't any books. The back that the back that God had was still mimeographed. Mimeographed is like an old printing process on a barrel a stencil type thing. He had the uh, manuscript for Chaitanya Chaitamatra and just uh, at this time the big wonderful news was that Macmillan and company wanted to publish the Bhagavad Gita and this was a very very good thing. And so since I was the first photographer in Krishna consciousness Prabhupada said, uh, asked me can you uh, make a portrait for the Bhagavad Gita? And I said, yes. So, uh, actually this was in an apartment that I used to live in, Willard Street, up above uh, Frederick Street where the temple was. And it had some flowered wallpaper. And in, anybody who knows photography or, or filmmaking, uh, you don't want to have a distracting background. You want to have it uh, either wide or or, or solid. So Prabhupada took his gray chatter off and we hung it there on the flower wallpaper. And the light was coming in and uh, I believe this is a photography loop there, an eyepiece. Because Prabhupada always liked to play with my photography <laughs> equipment. He, he, uh, he wanted me to show him the light meter. <clears throat> And so there's photosensitive cells, and you put your hand there, and then take them off, and the light comes in, and then... And well, Prabhupada played with the light meter for 20 minutes. <laughs> when, he, when he played, he was like uh, a child, or, or like, a, like a golden retriever that doesn't know how to stop. Especially when he was playing with children. We have a few photos with Prabhupada and children, and oh, there was uh, Kishori, a little baby, and they used to have a game where she would dive into this Vyasa song, sitting on the floor, and he would ruffle her hair, and then she would run back, and they would really do it, and uh, it, 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 they would do it for quite a long time, so Prabhupada has a very playful nature, so Let's show the other uh, portraits, too. <coughs> I also did some, some color ones, which are someplace, and it's hard to see, but an actual, in the color ones, an aura uh, went around Prabhupada's head. But you can see those on the color ones. Okay, number two. Oh, these are all the same. Right, I think there's only a... Oh, okay. And then uh, this is number two. Right here. Yeah, we're gonna. So this is uh, a place where we would take Prabhupada in San Francisco called Stow Lake, <laughs> and it's very early in the morning. And this person here is Udhava, uh -huh. and Gorsunda, who's probably still in Hawaii someplace. Gorsunda, yeah. I and maybe guard the money there. So let's. <laughs> <laughs> so here we were walking with Prabhupada, and uh, yeah, let's run this like. Outside, oh, okay. Yeah. There's Jamun, and this is Jayananda. Uh, yeah. You probably yeah. all know about Taka Jayananda. Yeah. <clears throat> Jayananda was uh, our chauffeur, and he's a taxi cab driver, and. Uh, he would say, name a street, Gurdas, and he would be able to tell me what was on the street in San Francisco. And yet he didn't think he was very intelligent, but he... Is that Mukunda? No. In the middle? No. There? No. Yeah. Gargan Money. Oh. And there's uh who's in some loca now, left the body. So here we are, and Prabhupada is talking about nature on the morning walks. He would do different things, massage time, he'd talk about history. Morning walks, he, he liked to talk about nature, and he told me to study nature on John Lennon's estate. He said, study nature because it's a very high manifestation, if not the highest in Krishna mm -hmm. consciousness on the planet. So he, he said, study nature. So here we are walking. Uh -huh. 
Uh, as you can see, men and women are just his children. It wasn't like, oh, they shouldn't associate. There are many pictures of Jamun and Janaki sitting right next to Prabhupada. It wasn't not any big thing. It was just his child. That's you at the side there. Yeah. Right? What? That's you there. Yeah. Well, I would hand the camera off because he told me to teach Gorsinger yeah. how to photograph. So Mukunda. there's Makunda. Yeah, yeah. That's in San Francisco. Yes. Yeah. It's Golden Park. Now we now we oh, went to the ocean. Wow. And uh, we had kirtans there, and we also would have uh, night kirtans with bonfires. Is this Ocean Beach? Yes. Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. We missed the ones with the ducks. Maybe that's in a different yeah, still, one. Still like. I love to land there. Oh, so <coughs> nice. Yeah. So, so beautiful. And we would uh, roast corn and potatoes and sweet potatoes and Prabhupada would chant and uh, actually Mukunda is writing a book now and he just called, we talked yesterday and uh, this Chidananda and uh, he was asking about some of these photos, especially these ones on Ocean Beach. Here we are back in Stow Lake and Prabhupada said it was like Bombay. And so here we are walking early in the morning. Uh, Prabhupada is very regulated. I remember in Vrindavan, at 6.03 every morning we would meet this man crossing paths on the Karikrama. And they were, both of them were so regulated that I would look at my watch. I wore a watch then. And uh, if it wasn't 6.03, I would change it. <laughs> So now you see lots of birds and everything. So here it is early in the morning, and uh, s somebody said uh, to the ducks that were still sleeping, they said, get out of the way, get up, the great guru <laughs> is coming. Even then there were some audacious devotees. And the ducks were quacking and getting up and really not happy about it. <laughs> And so uh, Prabhupada looks over and they're quacking and Prabhupada said, just as we were thinking they are disturbing us, <coughs> they are thinking we are disturbing them. And then I saw again how Prabhupada sees so widely into every living entity's hearts, even the ducks. So here, now we took him around Golden Gate, uh, or Stow Lake, where we went this morning, yeah. and uh, showed there was a little creek, and Prabhupada walked across the bridge, and we thought, oh, he liked the scenery. And the next day, we started out on the path where we parked the car, and we went around where the scenery was, and Prabhupada just reversed, and just walked up. He was chanting, and he didn't need all the scenery. He just walked up and down, and there was another mini lesson. And there was so many mini lessons every day, mm -hmm. but this was another one. He didn't need the scenery. Can you see all right? Yeah. So that's him, and this is the early morning walks. And uh, like I say, he would talk about nature, and he also said it reminded him of Bombay down the hill there. Saradiya, Malati. Uh -huh. And I guess I ran around to take those ones. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Shamasundar and Malati. Malati, wow. What year were these pictures taken? 66 or 67? Wow. Um, the Yamuna looks so different. <laughs> so how long was he in New York before he came to San Francisco? In New York? In New York? Yeah, in San Francisco. Not that long. San still looks pretty good. Is it? How oh, many times did he come to New York? He came with Purushatam and... Uh, Ranchua, oh, yeah. another devotee named Ranchua, yeah, yeah, and then so Hayat Riva, Ray Rama, and 
maybe Kirtananda and Haridas and Rakunda came out, and also Ravinda Saru, Roman numeral one, came where's, out. Where's that one? This is Willard Street that oh, Willard I Street. used wow. to live there, and then we gave it to Prabhupada. So uh, actually, on the plane, Rancho and Purushatan went, and he sent Haridas, Ray Rama, Hayagriva before oh, him sure. to and Makunda to help us get it going in San Francisco. Haridas was an artist. We didn't know anything. I'll tell you about. I'll show you the mm -hmm. temple room. You mm -hmm. in New York or mm -hmm. uh, San Francisco? Haridas put a t totem pole in our San Francisco <laughs> temple. I should tell you about. That. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Haridas now? Uh, I heard he was in New York. Yeah. Yeah. So how did you? Meet? Me? Uh, I met Jamuna out here, and she told me about her sister and a swami in New York. And so we heard about that. Now, I don't know how these got in here. This is actually London. This yeah. is Chirthapada and Radha Raman, but oh, wow. it's a morning walk in Regent Park, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> If I didn't say anything, nobody would know. Uh, he is still, still uh, Radha Raman that's in Hawaii? No. no. I'm not, is he in Hawaii? Yeah. Does he look like that? No, not quite like that. <laughs> He's bald and Recognize him. No, I don't know if we've done work yet. I, I, this Radha Raman, I think, is left. Okay, so are we finished with this? One? This, yeah, this Krishna Das, he's got a jewelry store in, in yeah, yeah. Uh, San Francisco. Oh, it's still right now. Okay, let's go to number uh, three San Francisco Temple Room. <coughs> so I don't know if we had the Vyasa sign yet. I think we did, because Kya, this Kartamashi, yeah, we did. Kartamashi was on a, in, a, in a shop on Haight Street, and I used to go every day and say, oh, it's Krishna, will you please give us our Krishna? And they had him in the window, and then, then I saw a, like a, a burn on his base, and mm -hmm. I'd go, and finally they said, yes, if you have $35, you can have him. So I went out of the store and said, my son's in jail. I need some money. My father's in jail. And $35 came very fast. And then he was very pale. And we brought him to Prabhupada and we fed him. And, and then I took photos before and after. And, mm. and Prabhupada said, just see. And uh, Jeevananda and I photographed him in the park. Yeah. So this is the San Francisco room. At first, there was no Vyasa sign. Prabhupada would actually sit on the altar that was over there. And we didn't have Lord Jagannath. Everybody knows the story of, does everybody know the story of Lord Jagannath coming in San Francisco? <coughs> Tell us. No, you're not. just saying. <laughs> <laughs> well, this Malati was the procurer, the quartermaster. She could get anything that was needed. She, she convinced, although we all did, but it was actually uh, mostly her. Tamal Krishna. Uh, yeah, Tamal Krishna. <laughs> Mostly her getting the first stove from Jerry Garcia that had a griddle on it. She would wait for this dairy truck out in the front of the temple, the guy to deliver butter uh, stuff and milk and stuff. And when he went away, she would take a whole pallet of butter from the truck. And Prabhupada found out about it and said, no, we should treat everybody's other possessions like stool. We shouldn't take anything. No, that's Jumuna. But when she cried, he did forgive her, saying that, well, Krishna was a battle seed, but don't do it again. Certainly. And that's the point. He always forgave us. He said, and if you have to steal something, at least steal butter. Yes, that's... <laughs> uh, there's Prabhupada. We played a game on the way to Montreal. See if we can eat like Prabhupada without touching it. And as we had a whole jar full of gulab jamans. We were intoxicated by the time we got to the border. And we saw this jar full of, like, substances, you know, but they let us do. So here's the love feast. 
And Prabhupada was sitting on the Vyasas on this Vishnu Janam. And he saw, but originally Prabhupada would sit on the altar. And, uh, oh yeah, Malati got from Cost Plus Jagannaths and Subhadra and Balaram. Oh, wow. But she did it by the five-finger discount method. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yes, she did. That was her thing back then. She's still oh. over <laughs> No, that's what it was. It was we were wild people. <laughs> Prabhupada was taming. He was lion taming. We were wild animals. <laughs> so, yeah, so she showed it to Prabhupada. He's like exotic Indian looking things from Kosh Plus and suddenly, and they're small, and Prabhupada's bowing down on the floor. Wow. So like, wow, there's Lilavati. And so... Who's uh, Lilavati nowadays? I don't know. So so then Prabhupada told Samashinda, uh, see if you can carve these. And I remember uh, Samashinda was carving them, and uh, after Kirtan, we would, uh, we would go out for a smoke, a cigarette, it was like, oh, this was a nice theater performance and there's intermission, because we didn't know that. <laughs> and we'd be out there, oh, Holidar, you got to smoke it. And so, Sam Mishinda was smoking pell-mells and carving the, the juggernaut, the prophet came and saw it, and he took his cane and went, whap! And the pell-mells went flying out the door. So... <laughs> the Shandavali. Oh, this... Yeah, keep That's this. That's Vishnu uh, Jana again, right? Yes. Check yeah. out your. Mm-hmm. Yeah, great thing. Oh, he's putting tea like, what's he putting on our head? Forehead. Those are That's flowers. That's Vishnu Jana in the middle. This is. A din- a din- oh, he's applying tea like he's tea. Tea. Oh, She She wanted Prabhupada to marry her. There was a lot of women who did, and uh, we were actually considering it at one time because it was a way to get his visa, but he explained as a sannyasi that wouldn't work. And then uh, Andarani and uh, Dhananjaya wanted to adopt Prabhupada, and he said, well, they'd say, what are you doing with such an old son? <laughs> so that didn't work. <laughs> but she, oh yeah, she's probably putting uh, from the fa- he's putting from the fire sacrifice there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, she wanted to marry Prabhupada. Doing, or who is she? I don't remember her name, but her son's name became Kaviraj. Yeah. At our wedding, I think you mentioned her name. Oh yeah, maybe I did some research, that's good. <laughs> so, at our wedding, she had a child, and, and, and she, she was a really spaced out person, and so the child's head, the child was on her lap, and the, and the child's head kept on like hitting on the floor. Hmm. And uh, everybody was pretty aware of it, and Prabhupada was the most transcendental, he was like this, but then even Prabhupada saw it and he said, we'll be strong baby, <laughs> and he said, pick, pick your baby up and put it on the lap. So uh, she got initiated, I think, at uh, Jamuna and my wedding. Vishnu Jana. Yeah. So Tamal used to come and listen to tapes at my house, he was uh, he would stay through the whole tape. He wouldn't go away. Is that when he, after he left the Star Ranch? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I went back with him, <coughs> and he said, "When I came here first, I had two blondes and a pocket full of money." <laughs> <laughs> and then he goes up. He was even. He was even. Uh, what should I say? Enthusiastic, and he's so. Lou Gottlieb was uh, in charge of. Uh, uh, Morning Star Ranch, he said, you should do bhakti, you should do bhakti. So Lou Godley sits down and plays Bach on the piano. He said, this is my bhakti. <laughs> Tamal lived in a tree, and that's why Prabhupada named him uh, uh, Tamal Arjuna. He was naked. Tamal Arjuna. Is that yeah. why he got the name? From that Tamal. ranch, Madhavisa came, Rabati Nandan, and Vishnu Jana. Vishnu Jana, the Morning Star Ranch. Maybe. He was around. So these were the love feasts, and we were also doing love feasts with Hasidic Jews, and their belief is that in hell, 
there's a feast, but your arms are splinted, so you can't feed yourself. In heaven there's a feast too, but you have the intelligence to feed each other. So we were having love feasts, and then somebody would be shoving prasadam into your mouth, but they were good old days. Because we were, people were wanting us to come and do kirtan, we were billed as Malati and the Dancing Gopis, because there was a magazine, or a, a newspaper article, and Malati was so truthful that they were very impressed. And so they said, they deemed our group Malati and the Dancing Gopis. So we were invited all over like to Republican conventions, and so we would bring Ganesh, and then uh, Democratic, and, and then I, uh, they reminded me that I almost knocked over a main base worth $5,000 at one gig, and uh, we had dogs then. Ralph was digging up the front yard, so uh, we went to one gig with uh, Anton Levey, a devil worshiper with a lion. So, I mean, we went on a lot of different <laughs> things. Shama, Shama Sindo had a dog, didn't he? Yeah, Ralph. Had a dog, Ralph right. And I had a dog named Ketal, which means what's happening in Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> and they would be, they would actually, Ketal would come and chant in the temple because he was as tall as a person. And people remember, remember him coming in the temple and seeing on the side feet and dancing. But he didn't like to get up so early, so he finally went away. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this again, we could just. Uh, <coughs> this is in his room upstairs. Actually, back then we didn't have regular programs. It was Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at the early hour of 7 o'clock and 7 at night. Then Tuesdays and Thursdays, we would have Darshan in this room sometimes. See, he's using his trunk as a mm, desk. Nice. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, next. <clears throat> so Prabhupada would ask me, he said, why are you were photographing me so much? And it's because his expressions would change so markedly from second to second. And like even one time on John Lennon's estate, a butterfly was near his finger and he went like this and the butterfly jumped on his finger. And I was going to photograph it but I didn't want to spoil the moment because it was a loud camera. And then the butterfly flew off and, and he didn't even say like, oh, wasn't that great. It was like just into the next expression. And then soon after he said, open the window because then the butterfly will get something to eat. So even then he was thinking about the butterfly. This is at, uh, in, Marin, in Marin County at uh, some place we did uh, a program with Prabhupada. This place? I don't remember. Yeah, yeah. Some. He bought us suits. You see he's wearing a suit yeah. and sometimes I am? Yeah. Prabhupada bought me a suit. He bought you a suit? Well, we were wearing... Uh, in fact, I just had a picture of it that Yoga Swara sent me. M Mukunda had a Merlin the Magician robe, Paisley, yeah. and I had a, like a samurai looking thing, and Sam Rashinda was wearing a shepherd's, Moroccan shepherd's outfit that still smelled like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, proper, I guess. <laughs> Uh, one of us uh, to <laughs> clean up, clean up. You're right. He still looked, the red bee drew around for a long time. Sure. This is in the might be in the Unitarian Church in the San Francisco. Even Chidananda's wearing a suit. Wow. Yeah, she's We look like Mormons. I didn't realize we were all wearing the suits. Is this Chidananda introducing Prabhupada? Yeah. Just see, Prabhupada could get us from wearing beads and samurai robes. <laughs> I mean, we didn't trust suits. <laughs> no, <laughs> anybody in the Chinese days wasn't to be trusted. We still don't trust suits. <laughs> There's Jamuna preaching. 
is so beautiful. Yeah. When I was in Vrindavan, people wanted me to, well, first they had this idea that I should wear yellow robes. I should not, you know. Yeah. The Prabhupada didn't feel there was enough separation. We don't need to create another one. But Ooh, is it? this was around the, the, the turnaround in Aquatic yeah. Park. This is well. I I had to get, just keep it on there for a bit because I had to tell that story. But uh, well, anyway, yes, this was that. I was telling you something, I forgot. You're going to talk about the Lakunda, the, the lady that's there. Huh? Something like that. Wait, that's that's leave you here for a while. Well, at any rate, uh, for Lord Chaitanya's appearance day, Prabhupada told us to chant in the temple and and read the manuscript and chant Japa and chant uh, out loud. And Jivananda and uh, Jayananda and myself looked at each other and we non-verbally communicated, let's go and chant it in front of Prabhupada's window on Willard Street. And we went there and Prabhupada came to the window and he went like this. And we said, oh no, he told us to stay in the temple and we went outside and chanted it. So we slunk down the hill with our heads like that. And Upendra comes running out like Sweet Pea and Papa, and the little doty trailing behind him and says, No, Prabhu, Swamiji wants you to come upstairs and see him. He said, Oh. He, uh, he, he was going like this, and Upendra says, No, in India that means come, come here. <laughs> come here. <laughs> come here. <laughs> so we you see it? you get us, uh, Mahaprabhu? <laughs> Lord Chaitanya has given you the intelligence to chant outside the temple in the street. So now do this every day. So that's the story of the West, West Coast. How are you now? And we, we wore uh, like uh, uniforms. Who are these? Yellow. That's Mukunda. Who else? Mukunda, and I'm not sure. That's got a thing. That's part of it. That's got a thing. Oh, yeah, there's yes, Mukunda. No, their father used to turn their car on the side when he got angry at his mother, so you can imagine. <laughs> he claims that I was the star of his Krishna Gunjas. Don't advertise that, please. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, no, they're, they're quite uh, good to vote. Mm -hmm. So here we are, and uh, Prabhupada also, when this harsh we were chanting, and Prabhupada, after the kirtan, said, all glories to the assembled devotees, all glories to the assembled devotees, all glories to the Pacific Ocean. And that's the nuns in the back? What's that? Nuns in the back there. The I back. saw that. that last slide. Did you see that? Yeah, three nuns. I was going to ask yeah. whether. Yeah. Yeah. Well, three right. nuns. Well, maybe the sisters of perpetual indulgence. <laughs> they were in the back thing. So Harsharani was married to Jivananda, and they lived across the hall. So this was our this was our the story of our family. Uh, Krishna Devi Haladar. Oh, that's a nice little yeah. Malati and the dancing gopis. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. So yeah, that's, there's Prabhupada with us, and now they made uh, the vintage Prabhupada films. Were they made around this time or later? Vintage Prabhupada no? films? Yeah, there's some films that look real similar to that. Color, Uh-huh. And some of these are the ones we were showing before are vintage ones. Yeah. Now there's the That's Kenya. a Bender. Far out. Yeah. Mm. He was serving Prabhupada the last time he came to the manor by killing the manor. Just in general. So this is at another uh, program we did someplace. Yeah, Looks like a little elf. I think this is in front of the temple. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is a star uh, Okay. So then the next one is Ra. Oh, <coughs> by there, right? Yeah. So Prabhupada was looking out the window when he saw a flatbed truck. And he drew us so a drawing so of what our first office should be like. Uh, yep. He, he asked me, and it's yeah. halfway. <coughs> so, uh, yeah, this was the diggers. 
The Diggers, yeah. The Diggers were a group that started in Ireland and they were rebels, but then in San Francisco they gave out free food and everything. They were right next door to us in a place called God's Eye Bookstore, uh, uh, ice cream parlor, and the Hells Angels would hang out there. And one night we were chanting and we used to have long chants in the temple. We probably would have to spoon feed us. We were very learning. And so we heard this banging on the wall. And Prabhupada asked me, he said, what is that? And I had to go next door and uh, I knocked on the door and the Hells Angel was there. And I, and I, and I thought, oh, cartels against swastikas and these <laughs> bags against stilettos. And, but they were very nice. And, and we, said, we said, well, now the Swami's starting to talk and we're wondering if he could not uh, bang against the wall. And they told me they were banging against the wall because they really liked the kirtan so much. <laughs> so they said they when they heard the music stop, they would stop slamming into the wall. And I remember the police would come, and I taught them this old trick from the civil rights movement is photograph them so they won't hassle you. And they didn't even use film, and the police would go away, so it worked. So here we are. This is the second guy. This is not, this is just combined, they combine, and this is the much bigger one, as you can see. Yeah. Is that the first rocket right truck? Second. Second, yeah. Yeah, the first one was on a flatbed truck, and, yeah. oh boy. I like that story. Yeah. The book, it's a good story, the pictures. Oh. Are you passing out the pineapple halibut? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So these are famous ones. These are Prabhupada chanting in the yeah. park. Yeah. Uh, we took Lord Jagannath. We just said on the top of a tree. Yeah, we said, okay, let's just take Lord Jagannath out from the altar and go wow. chanting, you know. Mm -hmm. That's cool. And Prabhupada heard about it and he came running faster than Yushi did to the park and said, oh no, Lord Jagannath should not come out off of the altar. But Les Hate, he said, he always forgave us. He always yes. forgave us because we didn't know anything. He always, in the end, would say, but, but since he's here, we might as well just chant then, because he's already here. So. He's on the log. So this is the famous picture. Of, I mean, Joe, Joe, could miss it. They didn't get anything. So here's me in the suit that Prabhupada bought, and uh, Jivananda there. And so uh, this, I'm going to say, this wasn't the program that happened, but it's a good story. It was a ra actually a radio program, but <coughs> it was a call-in show, and we had it all planned that the devotees would call in, you know, because Prabhupada didn't like to waste his time. So like the first question was like, uh, What's the meaning of life? And Prabhupada would talk for 20 minutes. And like, who am I? And then Prabhupada said, he'd talk, you know. We're meant to be devotees of Krishna, and he'd talk. So then they got hit to it. They understood it. So what they did is they said, we're going to get an opposite opinion. Because they were screening the call. So they got somebody who was not favorable. And it was some lady, and she said, she said, how did you get here? <laughs> And Prabhupada said, I had a free passage from Sindhya Lakhs, from Sumati Maharaj. And she said, why is your so-called temple in the Haight-Ashbury? And, and Prabhupada said, so-called? He said, no, there's deities. And he explained what a temple is, so she was quiet. So then uh, she said, why, why is your temple in the Haight-Ashbury? And Prabhupada said, well, my temple is in the Haight-Ashbury because the rents are inexpensive. So I could see she was getting, in, uh, getting frustrated. So once again she said, how did you get here? And he said, I had free passage from Sindhya, Sumati Margie. So she said, are you a freeloader? And Prabhupada never heard the word, but he said, yes. And we heard her actually like faint. We heard it's God, but we know nothing. So. But this was at a TV show. Once in London, we had a TV show, and then we were in Bombay. Oh, what was it called? I don't remember. Oh, okay. TV show. <laughs> TV show. <laughs> Actually, another Prabhupada story at the beginning of a TV show. There was buzzing on the on the on, in the sound system, so they were all following. This is in the book I wrote. 
they were all following the wires back and everything, and it took them hours, and they couldn't figure out the bus, and they followed it, and then they said, it's him! And Prabhupada was just waiting for the program to start in Chinese. So that was, I called it buzzword. So, in, so we were on the show in London, and then we're in Bombay in this doctor's uh, dispensary, and he said, oh, I saw you there in London, and now you're in my dispensary in, in Bombay. Isn't it a small world? And Prabhupada said, yes, it's insignificant. <laughs> okay. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's enough. That's good stories. The Australian devotees allow that. So here's Alan Ginsberg and Prabhupada, and he was very respectful to Prabhupada, and he bowed down, and he was complaining to Prabhupada about how he was people were bothering him and calling him and everything, and Prabhupada said, that is what happens when you're famous. He said that people used to stand outside Gandhi's window and chant, Gandhiji, Gandhiji, Gandhiji. So, and then they were talking about how to uh, put on the mantra rock dance, and, and then Swami uh, Prabhupada asked what the, or, the word origin of hippie is, and it's in my book if you want to find out. It's it's <laughs> 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 so, so yeah, there's, there's the book. <laughs> so, okay. Okay, uh, okay, these are really good. And this is after Prophet had a stroke and he was in Stinson Beach and we weren't sure and he wasn't sure whether we would see him again when he was on his way back to India. And here he is with Malati outside the temple and uh, living in Stinson Beach. Living near the Yes, beach he was. Sorry? Can I ask you a question? Certainly. Um, because I don't know all this stuff, this is all new to me. So yeah. like what I don't understand like what his mission was. Just to send off the religion to like Americans? His then, religion? Yeah. Well, it's actually... Did he create it? Or like... No, it's very old. Oh, okay. And it's actually... It, we sort of transcend religion. We want to see inside the person. Because you can change your religion. Yeah. So we want to see even deeper, which is our spirit soul, which our body can change from Jewish to Catholic right. or whatever. So basically, it's, it's a Vedic religion that started in India and people could see Hinduism as a form of reference but it's much deeper than that. So we actually whole want, we want to see inside everybody their soul. And his guru asked him to bring that here and Lord Chaitanya chanted these holy names and so that's what he did. So it's not like organized religion or anything like that? No, it's disorganized religion. Disorganized. So it's yeah, like it's sort of like organized anarchy. <laughs> or disorganized. Sounds good to me. <laughs> no. Which one? This Jai Hari. What? Abandoned? Abandoned all varieties of religion. That's okay. So and that's just surrender. Theory. And just surrender to God. That's good. Because we, like we, we, we all have individual relationships. With yeah, God. yeah, exactly. Unique. It shouldn't be commercialized. We're all uniquely having a chinta beta beta tattva. We have a unique individual. That's so cool. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank I'm glad it's so cool. Because it is so cool. And look. We're still all so cool after I just all these years. Because <laughs> 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 not everybody <laughs> thinks we're so <laughs> cool. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Okay, so <laughs> Prabhupada's yeah, exactly. talking, and then there's a famous picture, this one. This is his last look at the temple, and and Aww. and you've seen it blown up. He uh, cropped it because his face is so. So he's clean. going to India. Okay. That's a beautiful. Uh, he's going to India. Yes, and he's going to India, and it's like, will I ever come back here? And this is my temple, and these are my family, and that's the look. So, <coughs> Swamiji departure. So this is uh, at the airport. So there is our family again. This is this is Ramatani, Hedberg, and there's Hyatt Reeve. A little seeker there. 
So here, uh, this is Devananda. Prabhupada nicknamed him All Rights Reserved because he had a way of talking that nobody else did. He would talk, he was very intellectual. It would be someone to say that is to prove the point, that is to say that the the modicum of the pari pa paradigm that we're changing here in the echelon of Krishna consciousness and the, to, you know, he talked like that. So Prophet named him All Rights Reserved. <laughs> so. This is Rishi Keshananda. He does uh, jewelry in uh, nine, nine jewels that kings used to wear with the sun going through it for your health. Uh, he manufactures them in Thailand. He's got some with two or three jewels that the sun go through. <laughs> so this, we're all talking to Prabhupada and we're waiting. But Janaki, the wife of Mukunda, was very bold with Prabhupada. She didn't stand on any ceremony. I mean, there wasn't much anyway, but she was very bold. And so now we're talking, and uh, there's Prabhupada, and this uh, is a famous photo, this is on the Govinda album. Okay. What? Blue? Yeah. Right. So here, Janaki, Janaki's saying to Prabhupada, that I don't want you to go. Okay, next. And, and now she says, I don't want you to go. And with her hand, she took his ticket. She's got his plane ticket. She grabbed it. This is the Jagat Guru. This is the Guru of the world to get his ticket. And Mukunda's looking very apprehensive. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, is this okay? Yeah. <laughs> She's pretty bold. Yeah. Bolder than him. Yeah. <laughs> and Kirtananda's looking on. And so, so Prabhupada said, but I have, they have my name on the airship. He called it the airship, the airline manifest. And they have my passport. And so then go back to that smiling one. And she went like, like, ee, ee. and then Prabhupada was smiling like, well, that other one, somehow or other they got out of, but because she was like foiled, the one back the ways that was on the Govinda one, somehow or other this one, I think that happened after, but anyway, he smiled because uh, she, she had to give the ticket back. So. Okay, so let's go to England now. Okay, let's see. So you see that. The, the movement is growing. I call a shake on the front. Yes. <laughs> so, I mean, I can name those, but should I name them or? Yeah. Ramatanu, I think. Uh, Uttama Shloka. Uttama Shloka. Vishaka, Ramanuma Rang, Purushatam, Ishan, Ibhavati, Jamuna, Digvijaya. Well, I'm not sure who that is. That might be. Uh, <laughs> no, to me, it's there. Uh, Radha Raman, is that Trivikram? Trivikram, uh, yeah. Ramatanu, Dhananjaya, uh, Janaki, uh, Tirthapada, uh, Mr. Govind. Okay, yeah, there's Trevor Crown. He was my right hand man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sufi Crown. Yeah. <laughs> Took him Sufi dancing in San Francisco. <laughs> there's a nice picture of him dancing later. Okay, we can go to the next one. It's the same. It just... where, where was that? Where in England? Oh, oh yeah. We couldn't have wanted these. This was, these were taken for the album. These are great pictures. Yeah, these ones were taken for our publicity for the album. 
And there's Annapurna. Annapurna's father uh, wrote for the son. The Lady of the Baby? Yeah. It's actually Saraswati, the baby, oh, yeah. that she's holding. And the father said, uh, he wrote for the son, he wrote the racing column, and he said, oh, she's doing this, and uh, I'm not sure if she should do it. She used to be a heroin addict, so I said, would you rather be her shooting needles in your arm? And he shut, shut up. So, um, <coughs> so here we are. So that's, sitting. he sees Sharon's wife? Well, what was that? What was that? That's Malati. This is that's London, the publicity photos. That's Malati. <coughs> Lilavati came to Mali. Uh -huh. Oh, this is the roundhouse. Oh, wow, far out, yeah. Yeah, so we, so we did a, an event there, and, okay, there was, there was a group that shot off fireworks first. Then there was a guy who broke his guitar. We had a peaceful kirtan, but we sat, decided to have a fire yagya in the concert hall, and they objected the to us. In the round top. Yeah, they pulled our fire out after this guy broke his guitar. Blue. So I don't know, but... And we had it well protected, and I, I remember them being very stroppy and pulling the fire out. Okay, next. Next one. What type of concert was that? Huh? What type of concert Rock concert. Uh, well, it was a concert hall at an old uh, Round railway house. roundhouse. It's still used. And we, we chanted Hare Krishna, and uh, we actually had a song that Jivananda and Yogeswara wrote called uh, Blue is the Color. Did you ever hear that one? It's a good one. Yeah. Tiva's great. I love Tiva's music. It's on his tape. Did you ever hear his yeah. tape? Blue is the yeah. color of Krishna in rainforest oh, in the yeah. morning. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Oh yeah, sure, so we used to try it out yeah, at our yeah. programs, huh? Yeah, sounds like a Donovan song. Yeah, well, he was around. Donovan came in the mouth. Donovan was So, let's see, these are like portraits of Prabhupada. Boy, they're so scratchy. Donovan came in the mouth and the devotees complained that he was kissing his wife in the ground. They asked him not to kiss his wife. Okay, let's he just went. go. Mm -hmm. This is one. Anybody, oh, anyone? Yeah, this is Mango Lassie, Lassie? Okay. Yeah, this is John Lennon's estate. Did you didn't get any? Oh didn't get any. I haven't passed them on. This is John Lennon's estate. You, you see, the Vyasa son is very tall. Oh, wow. Sorry, sir. Is that a painting? Yeah. Everything was white and Tittenhurst, right? White. Sitting her stubborn, white, white, grand piano, white. Yeah, yeah the grand piano. Was so wrote, imagine, but there was a, uh, a, a confessional from Quaker country that wasn't white in the living room. Like an enclosed one. I think I just saw that. Oh. I hid in it one night. Over her okay, let's go on to the next one. Where are all the Krishna people? Yeah. Okay. Where are all the Krishna people? Yeah. All over the world. Okay. Do you guys ever like come together? Excuse me? Did you get mango? Yeah. Okay. Like congregate together? Did you get your Yeah, I'm not the after one. There's going to be a huge parade. And if this is going on uh, August 14th, it's going to be a yeah, and go get her. Uh, she's going to come in. She's yeah, teaching she's got got me. Me. Yeah. I've never heard of you. That's why I'm asking. Yeah. 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 So do you guys, are you guys just doing about 10? No. Yeah, I live in Maui. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, let's see what's going on. 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 Yeah, let's see this is the abbot of Westminster Abbey. I arranged a meeting, and he was very nice. And he uh, brought Prabhupada some water. Okay, let's go on. Really? 
Now, now let's do airports. Now here we are in Amsterdam. Here we are in Amsterdam, and somebody had lost Prabhupada's luggage. And can we sort of have one conversation, please? Thank you. So everybody was uh, upset because there was an airport tax and we didn't know to have money and somebody had lost Prabhupada's luggage and there was chaos and then I looked over Prabhupada to see what it was like because uh, that was my application of Krishna consciousness and he was very calm like that. Everybody was running around. We were in a, a, a program in, in uh, Amsterdam. They put dry ice there to make it look mystical. Now here's Shimuna, and you see, there was no like, oh, men and women and sannyasi, and she's my daughter, what? and that's the way it is. Do you see, Julie? Yeah. So here he is at the airport. Everybody else is flipping out and hysterical, and he was just peaceful. So. Was he doing good? Was he doing this? Like, taking something off his stick or something? He was too to preparing to beat me with it. Uh, <laughs> it's like he's taking something up. Yeah, there. okay, next please. <laughs> There's uh, Shiradasha I Krishna. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. 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 He passed away now. A couple of years ago, huh? Eh? Yeah. That's the thing. Okay, here we are at the airport. This is Saraswati. As you notice, I like to take series of photos. It's kind of nice. Was that Germany? Netherlands. Netherlands. One time we were on an airplane and there was a Charlie Chaplin movie on the screen and the people, the devotees with Prabhupada were afraid to look at the screen and they looked over at Prabhupada and he was looking at the screen and he was laughing.